Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to make and use templates in SharePoint. In this video, we'll look at site templates, page templates, news post templates, list templates. And finally, we'll show you how to make a site template. In SharePoint, templates allow you to start with a particular layout or structure, which is much quicker than starting from scratch. To use a site template, open SharePoint and click Create Site at the top. You'll have access to different templates depending on the type of site you create, either a team site or a communication site. In this example, we'll select a team site. Enter a name for the site. Then hit Next. Now hit Finish. You should see a pop-up with the option to browse templates. Click the Browse Templates button. Then select a subject-appropriate template from the list. For demonstration purposes, we'll select Event Planning. On the next page, you'll be given a preview, including a list of site capabilities. To use the template, hit Use Template at the bottom. If you want to change the template of an existing site, head up and click the Settings icon. Then select Apply a Site Template from the drop-down menu. You can then select a different template from the list. To use a page template, open a SharePoint site, then click New, and select Page from the drop-down. You should find three templates to choose from. Blank, Visual, and Basic Text. However, if you click Saved on this site, you can also use previously saved templates, which we'll look at later. For now, go back to From Microsoft, and select any template. Head down and click Create to use the template. Let's modify the page. We'll change the header to an image and title, instead of color block. To save this page as a template, head up to Save as Draft, and click the small down arrow next to it. Then select Save as Template from the drop-down. Now we've saved a new template, let's head back to the site. This time, when we create a new page, we can find the template we made in the Saved on this site tab. To use a news template, click New, and then select News Post from the drop-down. You'll also have access to templates saved on this site, like you do with Pages. But for now, head back to the Microsoft templates, and select a template from the list. We'll select Newsletter. Now head down and click Create Post. Just like with Pages, if you want to save the post as a template, click the small down arrow next to Save as Draft. Then select Save as Template from the drop-down. To edit the template's description and thumb, click Template Details at the top. You can now edit the details in the right side pane. Now we'll take a look at some list templates. Start by clicking New, and selecting List from the drop-down. To use custom templates, click from your organization. We don't have any custom list templates at the moment, but you can click the link in the description if you want to learn how to make them. For now, head back to the Microsoft templates. Then select a subject appropriate template from the list. We'll choose a work progress tracker. You'll see an example list in the preview pane. The columns are at the top, and you can view them all by scrolling right. To use this layout, head down and click use template. Uncheck the box next to show in site navigation, if you don't want the list to appear in the menu. Otherwise, leave the box checked. Then hit create. Perfect, you can now hit new at the top to start adding items to the list. In this bonus section, we'll show you how to create your own site templates using PowerShell. To do this, you'll need the SharePoint management shell, which you can download in the description and you need to be using a Windows operating system. If you're good to go, start by opening SharePoint, and copying the URL up to .com. Then, head down to the Windows search bar and type PowerShell. 
Next, run PowerShell as an administrator. Then, in PowerShell, type connect dash SPO service space dash URL space and then paste the URL. Use the left arrow on your keyboard to move the caret position just before dot SharePoint. Then type dash admin. Now hit enter, and you'll be asked to sign into your Microsoft 365 account. Once you've signed in, head to the video description to grab the JSON code. This is some basic JSON code that will add a theme, a new document library called Documents, and a navigation link. Copy the code, then head back to PowerShell and paste it. Now hit enter. To add the template structure, type add. Dash SPO site script space dash title space open quotation mark then enter any name for your template now close the quotation and leave a space now type dash content space dollar sign site or whatever variable name you have in your JSON code hit enter then highlight and copy the ID Now type add dash SPO site design space dash title. Again, add the template name in quotation marks. Leave a space. Then type dash web template space. Then 64 in quotation marks space dash site scripts space quotation mark then paste your id and close the quotation finally hit enter before we move on let's look at what else we can do with the json code we've set the theme name to contoso theme but there are other themes to choose from to view the themes head to your sharepoint site then click the settings icon in the top right and select change the look in the drop down menu now go to theme. You can use the theme names here in your JSON code. Let's go back. At the bottom, you can also view the classic themes. Here you can find themes like Sea Monster. Heading back to the JSON code, we can now enter a new theme name. You can also add flows using the on-screen code. Set regional settings. And even grant permissions to specific users. Here we have the permission set to contribute, but there are other permission levels, such as full control. Read, design, edit, approve, and other permissions that are displayed on screen. To use our custom site template, head to a SharePoint site. Click the settings icon in the top right and select apply a site template. Now click from your organization and you should find our site template. Click details. Here we can see the updates we made. And to use the template, just click use template at the bottom. You'll need to wait a moment while SharePoint applies the template. But once it's finished, hit refresh this site to continue. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.